Look at all those Hot Wheels. Welcome back Diecast Collectors. Today we're looking at my Hot Wheels haul for the last couple months. Comprising mainly of Car Culture series, but also the brand new, or fairly new, Hot Wheels Fast and Furious 5 Car Premium Set. Some of these cars are getting opened up today, but let's take a look at them in their package real quick. I've got them all set up on the table here behind me. And I've also got Hot Wheels Team Transport. All the vehicles so far up till that I'm available to get anyways as of February 2019. Car Culture Team Transport has not been an easy set of vehicles for me to find locally and therefore I've had to buy quite a few of these from eBay. We've got the first three that were released back at the end of 2018. Mattel ships these out in boxes of four so there was two of these Porsche 356 Speedsters with Volkswagen Transporter in each set of four and then only one each of these two vehicles of course with the 69 Nissan Skyline van and carry-on being the hardest of those three to find on the second wave this one was added to the package so that's a duplicate carry forward whatever you want to call it and then you've got these three of course these uh, funny cars and retro rigs are the hardest ones to find for me anyways the mongoose and snake set of vehicles seems to command a premium and are being hoarded by scalpers so I had to buy those online the only one from that new wave that I was able to find locally was this Porsche 962 and fleet flyer so those ones are warming the pegs now at my local Walmarts alongside of course the uh, Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX and Secura Sprinter. Hope I'm saying that right. Not sure why Mattel does that. They really should just make boxes of six with two of each in every case. That would make the uh, collectors a little easier in finding them locally. But such as it is, this is the way Mattel's always done it. Fast imports. These are fairly new, I think. I had to get these online as well from a fellow Canadian but uh, nonetheless had a pretty severe markup I'm sure nice set of five vehicles all metal on metal with uh, rubber tires really nice tampos and details as far as the headlights and taillights we'll look closer at those in a moment and I've got three sets of the the last three sets of car culture five vehicle sets here just getting around to reviewing them now and in some cases just got my hands on some of these cars these ones I was able to find locally for the most part of course the uh, pickup truck the Silverado pickup was the most difficult to find but still attainable and now at my local Walmart the shop trucks are still warming the pegs not the not the pickup but because of that Walmart has not reordered any of the following car culture sets another problem that plagues my local store anyways is that the manager or toy department manager does not seem to understand how Hot Wheels collectors work so they just order way too many of one set and then no more follow so these ones came from eBay the Circuit Legends five car set another really nice detailed set each of course with their unique artwork which is now the uh, trademark of the car culture series for 2018 2019 and into the drag strip demons Nice five car set, once again, had to buy those online. And uh, for those wondering why I'm having so much difficulty, there's really only one Walmart nearby for me. The next closest Walmart is 35, 40 kilometers away, and it's heavily picked as well. So that's why I pretty well have to buy everything online. But we're going to take a look at all this stuff. I am going to be opening up the shop trucks for you for a loose review. And the rest of the cars just going to have a look at in their wonderful artwork as I was only able to afford one set. In the past I used to buy the car cultures by the case so I used to get two of each which allowed me to open them up. But even though I'm an opener I really like the packaging on these. It's a really nice presentation. And although I have not really found an adequate way or space to display them that will be coming eventually as my vintage Hot Wheels monopolize the walls of the Hot Wheel room and I've also got the Plano cases throughout the Hot Wheels Museum so not really much space to hang new card work 
One idea I have though is I've taken down all the old Hot Wheels garage and delivery series cars, a bunch of vintage racing that used to be on the wall here in these strips and that might be a space where I can put up some new card work however the new card work is much wider than the strips that I put up originally which were more of the mainline series card back size so I'd have to move them all but that might not be a problem after all as after all these years that these strips have been hanging on the wall they're kind of shifting and the glue's letting go on the two-sided tape behind them so that was the real main instigation and reason why I had to remove the cars because I think they were going to fall off on their own if I hadn't done something about it. But a good way to sort through them and also potentially a nice video to come yet. As I've now got all the cars sorted in these Tupperware totes. There's the Boulevard series complete. So a good way to get all those cars out on the table. And I will be doing that in future videos for all the old series and sets that I've collected. Because it seems a shame just to put them away without one last look at them. Not really sure if I could open them up now, but I might get around to doing that. And then, of course, lots of things to look at still streaming in from my online mail purchases. Got lots of Johnny Lightning, their racing champions, Auto World, and mainly just a ton of cool green lights to look at. More streaming in every day. As I've been pretty much playing catch up on the die cast I kind of took a little break over the holidays December January and now I've gotten right back into uh, depleting the bank account here to catch up on the cars the awesome cars that have been released from the various manufacturers and this being one awesome set that I really wanted to do a video on so that's today's video for you so we'll start this video just with a quick review of the car culture team transports once again these aren't brand new anymore but first time I've really shown them in a video so here they are uh, pretty fantastic little set nice packaging you can really see the cars still quite nicely and there's the first original three vehicles from wave one we've seen these before we'll just kind of skim through them really nice artwork of course just as with all the car culture and uh, I've seen some other collectors on YouTube open these up and they definitely definitely look really good out of the package too so I may do that at some point in the future just I don't really have any more space to display these larger trucks definitely the cars wouldn't be a problem but I don't know where I'd put the truck and I'd like to keep these together so gotta find a, another shelf or something dedicated to the team transport series which I am pretty positive is going to continue into 2019 it seems to be a real hit uh, these ones being the biggest hits these retro rigs this one featuring the 72 Plymouth Cuda funny car uh, the good old snake drags drag car there uh, lots of history with those and then on the back you've got the four vehicles that were released in this wave and as you can see there's that carry forward truck at the uh, beginning so they've just filled the four shipper box set with uh, leftovers from the previous set so I imagine the third wave is probably gonna have this one if they do that again Really, you wonder why Mattel is making these ones so hard to get when everybody wants these. I mean, even if you're just a kid wanting to play with them, these are sturdy, all-metal trucks with a sweet car, so you'd think they'd want to double those ones up and sell more of them instead of putting the money in the scalper's pockets on eBay. And here is the uh, Tom McEwen's Mongoose. Same truck, of course, but with a new paint job. Tons of great details too, in case you haven't seen these before. They've got the signal lights, license plate, painted bumper, all metal. So I probably will end up opening these up. These plastic shiny cases kind of bother me. But, like I said, one thing at a time. This one's got a little bit of dust on it. Uh, the Porsche 962 Fleet Flyer. Pretty cool truck. It's really only warming the pegs because uh, everyone's been hoarding the... The retro rigs, so this leaves a surplus of these when you, when Walmart reorders a set. That's what gets left behind. Now on to the Fast and the Furious wave of vehicles. Bring these down so we can look at them a little closer. And my makeshift little display rig here. First up, the Nissan Skyline GTR. Beautiful car. Great artwork. 
very similar paint uh, scheme as a mainline Fast and the Furious car released in the past, but now of course receiving all the extra decorations and Tampa work and all metal base and real rider wheels and tires that the premium series always have so that's really nice to have and I imagine these are going to be extremely difficult to find in your stores pretty well all the cars are desirable there's the four other ones which we'll get now so number two in that set right there in the corner we've got the Nissan uh, Silvia Nissan Silvia I haven't seen one of those in quite a while on the streets pretty cool again lots of details all the way around beautiful metallic blue paint job there imagine those two cars are going to be ridiculously hard to find and this one of course we've seen this paint scheme on the Fast and Furious cars before as well the 74 Escort RS 1600 now with some awesome wheels and details all the way around including a painted rear bumper separate uh, separate paint job from the base which is really neat and really like the use of the realistic clear windows on these cars I'm glad they've gotten away from all the colorful windows got the Lamborghini Gallardo LP 574 Super Lagar Super Lagara uh, probably probably botching that uh, pronunciation of it but these Lamborghini names are a mouthful nice Lamborghini pretty subtle details on it it's just got the black tail lights would have been better if they had actually put some red on there but perhaps it was blacked out nice car and this one is going to be impossible to find on the pegs I just know it the Nissan Skyline GTR in black it's uh, of course hard to see kind of with all this glaring packaging at least on camera anyways black on black it's got the full black treatment there so that's a really nice one I imagine these three cars are going to be the most difficult ones to find in the store but that's just a hunch anyways I can't find any of them so on to the car culture series we're gonna work backwards from freshest to oldest series so that means let's take a look at the drag strip demons and we've got in number one the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser always a difficult casting to find in any series let alone a premium series such as car culture with this terrific artwork and of course terrific tampos details Firestone slicks on the back and that big chrome engine really cool paint job on the roof or tampo and a shiny metal base with chrome plastic bumpers nice piece and of course the 63 Chevy Nova drag strip funny car lots of detail all the way around of course and tons of cool tampos to read on the sides the 65 Dodge Coronet more fantastic artwork once again interesting gold wheels on the front and white deep dish rims on the back this one has some uh, blue tint windows but they look just fine the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone isn't that cool? Really like the uh, red detailed taillights on the metal bases that they've put on. So the drag strip demon cars, drag strip. I think their drag strip demons were released several years ago, and uh, in a very similar packaging and artwork. Even back then, I wasn't able to open them up and did not have a complete set, as they got very expensive very quickly. So it's nice to see them making a comeback, and I hope they continue with it. 66 Supernova here, deep metallic blue. Nice big chrome engine. Exposed. So that's got to be one of my favorite sets so far. And I uh, imagine there's another car culture set coming out shortly. Now we'll look back to uh, 2018 Circuit Legends. Five vehicle set. Number one being the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe with those big white rims 
wrapped in Goodyear tires. Fantastic paint job on this one as well. And on these packaging, it shows all five vehicles in the set, whereas the newer, newer ones seem to only show four, uh, and then have obviously the one in your hand being the one that isn't shown. Next, we've got this 69 Copal Corvette. Real transparent plastic headlamps. Again, some great Goodyear tires, lots of details. Really wish I had two of each of these to open them up, but uh, at this point, don't really know what I'm going to do. I can't afford the uh, secondhand retail prices of these to be able to buy two sets anymore. Used to be able to buy them by the case, but at a fairly reasonable price. But then, now even if you do find the cases when they're first released, the shipping from U.S. to Canada is has gone up a lot. Postal fees and whatnot. Nice. 16 Ford GT race car. Just watched a review of the actual GT with uh, Jeremy Clarkson on Amazon Prime. Pretty cool. Check that out if you have time. Or maybe it was on YouTube. I don't know. One or the other. Porsche 962. We already looked at that. I just didn't mention the name. Snazzy paint job on that one. And of course this Mazda 787B. Really neat car. Great tampos on the front that really make those headlights look dimensional, whereas actually the casting is not, but still a terrific job. Looks like it has an opening rear um, engine cover. Mine has a bit of a messed up spoiler. I think the plastic just got a little squashed in the packaging, so probably could fix that if I opened it, but impossible to do in the packaging. All right, let's make some room for the shop trucks. The shop trucks, like I said, were the only vehicles I was able to find in the stores, locally, at Walmart. Not really sure why, they must have just ordered a ton of them at that point. It's just really luck for me when I find premium vehicles from Hot Wheels. So, we've got the custom 62 Chevy pickup. And because I was able to buy duplicates, no problem opening these up. This one has a Zamac finish, no paint except for on the roof surfboard in the back. If you're wondering what that little black does, I got pinched my finger with a hammer. A little blood blister there, so excuse that. Uh, really nice truck. Nice and heavy. Clear windows make it look really great. The next one up is the 60... Oh no, sorry. Volkswagen Caddy. That's an 80s vehicle, I'm pretty sure. There's the back. All five vehicles, which we're looking at here. So it pretty much totals the artwork on the packaging when you open them. That's why I need to have two of them in order to do that when I really like the packaging. Service truck. Lots of cool details on that. Right down to the tail lights, reverse lights, and signal lights. Heavy little truck. And look, it's got a little skateboard in the back. Isn't that cute? Pretty cool truck. And imagine that one bombing around California. On the beach somewhere, Long Beach maybe, next to this. That'd be Florida though, isn't it? Now, I need a geography lesson here. Shop trucks, the hardest one to find. 83 Chevy Silverado pickup with the Borla exhaust tampos. Heavy, heavy truck. Desirable amongst the, not only collectors, kids, but also the customizers. And these trucks really seem to hold their value and appreciate in the future. So, I mean, I've got lots of this casting of truck from previous premium sets. And whenever I look them up on eBay or see them, they always are $20 plus. So, definitely worth adding these to your collection. And probably a good reason why they are hoarded, which is unfortunate for true collectors. But that's just the way it is. So, really nice. Sorry, that went out focus there slightly. But let's check out those little signal lights right on the front. Painted headlights. And sweet wheels. Okay, two left to look at. Got the Subaru Brat. Also a really cool vehicle. Nice to see this one making a comeback. I haven't seen too many castings 
or paint jobs with this casting I should say and in the premium series it looks fantastic off-road 4x4 great color combination very authentic you got the backwards facing jump seats another real beach buggy the best wheels I think they could have chose for this vehicle absolutely stunning stunning presentation on this one that one is probably my favorite out of the set even more so than the pickup Silverado just because it's so authentic and also kind of underutilized casting so far this I believe is a new casting or fairly new the 60's Ford Econline pickup that is nice as well let's just get the zoom on here really nice another skateboard in the back it's a nod to uh, the skateboard generation of the 80's and 90's the generation that I'm part of, I'm born in 83 so all my, I wasn't a skateboarder but a lot of my friends used to hang out at the skate park lots and so I uh, don't see it as much anymore, I see a lot of long boards but not the good old skateboards, the short ones like that so I probably geared right towards our generation or at least my generation of collectors and uh, that's a nice truck as well so there we go We've got all five of the shop trucks finally opened up they've been sitting around waiting to be opened up in my Hot Wheels room for a while can't believe I'm just getting to it now but anyways it was fun so if you're after any of these things as I always say happy hunting and uh, hopefully you've got a better stocked Walmart than I do Take care, everyone, and thank you for all your comments. I appreciate them. Keep them coming, and the videos keep coming as well.